Good morning. Throws have been a staple in the Tekken series since Tekken 2 and over the years there have been many unique throws in the franchise. Hello everyone, my name is Wiki and in this video I wanted to go over 10 of the more unique throws in Tekken 7. Kicking things off at number 10 we have Paul's Congo Blast. In this throw Paul gut punches the opponent and you can execute a death fist if you follow up with a QCF2. If done perfectly Paul can access a special blue spark version of his death fist which I find so satisfying and this throw can actually wall splat and break balconies leading to huge damage that we have come to expect from the American brawler. Next up at number 9 we have Ganryu's Kumite Tsukami throw. This is a special throw not listed in the move list and can only be performed against Julia. In this throw Ganryu key charges, slaps himself silly and chases after his true love. Whilst Ganryu can't actually hurt Julia in this throw, Julia can return a whopping slap and this slap actually acts as a launcher leading to a devastating combo with huge damage that some would say Ganryu also deserves. Next up we have Jin's Tidal Wave Throw. You guys might be familiar with this one but did you know about the secret input? Follow this throw up with a 3 plus 4 to get 2 more damage and a special voice clip. This throw also breaks the floor leading to some pretty nasty combo optimization of floor break stages. Just make sure to follow up with the secret input if you really need that 2 extra damage. Next up we have the old man himself with a nasty variation of the stone head throw. Another throw not seen in the move list, this can only be performed against male characters and can be reversed by inputting 1 plus 2 at the correct timing. Funnily enough Kuma can reverse this and not Panda, meaning Kuma is slightly better than Panda. Coming up next we have King's figure 4 leg lock. Another throw you guys might be familiar with. What makes this unique to me is the special reversal option. This reversal can be done by pressing 1 plus 2 at the right moment. This reversal will deal back some of that damage to King. And this weird interaction never fails to get a laugh out of me. I'm not quite sure what Brian is doing to damage King here but if you feel like you know please let me know in the comments. Moving on we have Jack's Megatron Blast. Again this is another commonly seen throw with properties that seem fairly standard given the game's meta. What makes this throw stand out is it's probably the only throw in which you can block after the grab. That's pretty cool. Midway through the list we have Kaz's Hammerhead Throw. Another variation on the Mishima Stonehead Throw. Kaz's Hammerhead Throw can only be accessed when equipping the Hammerhead item and killing an opponent with the Stonehead Throw. This leads to an animation where Kazuya hammers the opponent into the ground and I just find this such a satisfying way to end a round. Next up we have Akuma's Hayake Gosai. This is a throw that comes out of Demon Flip and cannot be broken. The throw can only be avoided by ducking it. Lars has a similar throw however this one can be broken quite easily by pressing either 1 plus 2 or down. 
Hashtag buff Lars. So if you have a read on a throw that can only be avoided by ducking it, make sure you punish the opponent heavily for their mistake. Moving on and we have Steve's position change. A callback to Tekken 4 where Steve was introduced, this throw was universal and now only Steve has access to it. Performed out of swear, this move can also be performed out of a weave which can hide the animation. If you manage to push an opponent straight onto a wall, you get at least plus 10. And if you push an opponent onto a wall from a greater angle, you can get a wall splat. This throw can be lethal in certain scenarios and that's why I like this throw. It's useless without a wall, but with a wall, the reward you can get is huge. As an honourable mention, we have Jack7 again, this time with his back turned throw away throw. The properties of the throw don't stand out, it doesn't provide a wall splat nor can you follow up with a wall break. However, if you throw an opponent off a balcony, the damage is absolutely ridiculous. This has to be the most damaging throw sequence in the game and for that reason it made it onto the list. Finally, coming in at number one, we have Asuka's Ultimate Tackle. Another special throw not seen in the move list, this tackle is performed by pressing key charge down 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4, 1 plus 2. The tackle is unbreakable and provides a guaranteed forward 2 or rage drive. Mix this tackle into your Oki and if you catch an opponent teching, you will be able to punish them heavily for it. And if you have Rage Drive, you can consider the round one. This sequence here is quite literally a death sentence. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope it provided some sort of value to you, either through the form of entertainment or for educational purposes. Either way, I really enjoyed making it and there'll be more videos like this in the future. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.